ends. You know how we have these clay, this is not clay, these faux clay pots, plastic pots left over from the summer. Normally you just throw them out. I just found one, but I'm glad I found it because I have started to do a lot of work with air dry clay, which is pretty easy to use and there's so much more we can do when we're working with our decoupage. So for today, I'm going to turn this into this. using some air dry clay and the link will be down below this video and again this is a true upcycle you know this is just going to end up in the landfill it's not something that you can recycle so you just toss it in the trash and it ends up in a landfill somewhere where it will stay forever it'll just break up so I'm pretty excited I'm not trying to be preachy I'm just trying to be responsible when it comes to these things so here are the steps for how I did this <music> Okay guys, this actually dried a lot faster than I thought it would. Now you see there's some imperfections in here. I know that there are tools you can use to smooth this out. We're going to decoupage over this so we really don't have to worry about it because the clay is white and the napkin is white. We don't even need to paint it. One thing I did do is I did go around with, you can use a piece of sandpaper or a nail file and you can just file away some of these rough spots. You can smooth it down and you'll have a nice smooth surface. I'm loving that we'll be able to use this pot over again. It's plastic. So you can put a live plant in here, a Christmas plant. You can present this as a gift or you can keep it in your house. You can even put one of those little pine trees in here. And I will see if I can find this napkin and put the link below or you may have this napkin. We're going to add some glitter to this and some faux snow around here and I'll show you how we can do that after a decoupage. First let's just separate the napkin. This napkin is three ply. You just want to make sure you have the top piece. Uh, you know what? I'm sorry. I should have done this first. Let's cut this into quarters because that's going to make it a lot easier to decoupage. Actually we could tear it. So I'm, I'm going to use one of these, I believe they're called aqua brushes. Just get some water in there.
If there's any part of the napkin you don't want torn, just put your finger over it. I see a few branches here that I'd like to protect. And one other thing we want to do is I don't want these hard edges on here. So I'm going to go around the outside, wet the napkin, and just pull away these straight hard edges. These will show up. Uh, they're more likely to show up when you have a very hard edge like that. They're more likely to show up. So it's better to just remove those and then these napkin edges will just disappear right into your piece. And I'm going to show you how I do the first and second one so you see how I line it up. And I'm not a perfectionist. I'm not worried that the pattern has to match exactly this tree with that tree, that type of thing. Now you want to separate the napkin and just make sure you have the top ply of the napkin. Some napkins are two ply and some are three. But I'm going to take this piece, now there's no hard edges, all of these torn edges, I'm going to place it over the surface that I want to decoupage. And of course I'm going to take my napkin decoupage glue. I'll have links for this down below. One thing I want to mention guys, this is the only, only decoupage glue that I use. Sometimes I get questions asking about a competitor's decoupage glue. I really don't know anything about that and I don't work with them. So I always suggest you contact the manufacturer of whatever decoupage glue you're asking about when you have questions. This is the DecoArt napkin decoupage glue, which is going to make your life a lot easier. And I start in the center of the napkin and work my way out. You do want to add a lot of glue, decoupage glue to your brush. That really helps sink into the napkin. Continue to push outwards. And I think a, a good trick with this is that you do have to keep loading your brush. The decoupage glue will go right through the napkin. The moisture from this decoupage glue, believe it or not, actually helps the napkin stay intact. If you don't have enough glue on here, it can actually tear the napkin. And you want to use light, even pressure. But what I do want to show you is how, first, the edges disappear right into the surface, so you don't even see the napkin edge. Now, if this was a hard line, you're a lot more likely to see it. And now I'm going to take the next piece. Let me get these hard edges off of here. And now I'm going to put it next to the other napkin piece. And I'm going to repeat that same step. Start in the center and work your way out. So I will finish decoupaging my piece because I'm going to do this on the back, but I'm going to do that off camera. And you can see how even though we don't have a perfect surface here, that's quite all right. It's still almost to me, it looks like they're in a snowy field and snow is never perfect, right? The snow falls in different areas. I've got a little snow pile right there. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call it. That's a little snow pile right there. But I'll finish decoupaging the rest of this and put it aside to dry. Hi guys, my husband just came home with the noisy dog. I just came up in the bedroom to show you. Here is how this is looking now. And I'm going to show you how I do the next steps. And I'll show you the products I'm using. But I won't be able to talk because the dog starts barking and... It's just chaos down there. <laughs> One starts and then the other two chime in. So uh, I just wanted to let you know what's going on. Here's how this looks so far. You can see that you don't see any edges on the napkin. It just kind of looks like it flows right into the natural scene. And I'm going to go downstairs and add some faux snow and glitter onto this. And I'll show you how I do that.
I hope you enjoyed the project for the week. Next week is Christmas on Wednesday. And thank you for subscribing. I love hearing from you guys. And of course, if you have any questions, please feel free just to contact me. It's easier on uh, Facebook. Just go over and click like and follow and leave me a message on the page. And you'll be notified every week when I put new videos out. On so there you have it, my friends. I will see you, if not next week, then have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday, no matter what you're celebrating. And I will be back soon. All right. Thanks again, guys. Bye-bye.